The 57-year-old blonde bombshell let her hourglass figure take center stage in the sizzling scarlet number as she took to the red carpet at the Curzon Mayfair for the premiere of Spitfire. Turning heads arriving at the venue, Carol Vorderman squeezed her ample bust and voluptuous rear into the skin-tight midi frock, which hugged her curves in A.Y. Bodicon style. The semi-sheer garment, which featured long sleeves, flashed a peek at a layer underneath which helped her preserve her modesty as she posed for photographers. Flaunting her enviable slender midriff in the tight-fitting dress, it was also impossible to miss her rear of the year winning behind. Former Countdown Beauty Carol paired the eye-catching outfit with stiletto heels and wore her golden tresses coiffed into curls which fell loose over her shoulders. She showcased her youthful visage with dewy-looking makeup opting for a toned-down smoky eye and rosy pink lipstick. Adding a touch of extra glamour to the look, she accessorized with a glittering silver bangle and dangling earrings. Carol was spotted strutting confidently into the premiere for the new documentary about the plane which helped win the Battle of Britain during World War II. Released in conjunction with the RAF centenary celebrations, the movie features accounts from the last surviving combat veterans and digitally remastered footage from the 1940s to paint a portrait of the legacy of the Spitfire. The documentary is narrated by actor Charles Dance and tonight's screening is hosted by Carol. The latter is in RAF Air Cadets Ambassador and regularly attends events to mark the service of those in the armed forces. She recently made an appearance in Plymouth 1000's Came Together to Honor Armed Forces Day. Carol admitted she had been overcome with emotion at a memorial in the morning, Telling the Plymouth Herald, anything to do with memorials I try to get involved as much as possible, particularly with Bomber Command veterans and so on, and I have done for many years. To have the two combined is always very emotional for me and I have been shedding a few tears already this morning, she added. Dressed in her formal uniform, the TV star looked smart for the day's events, sharing pictures on Twitter with her 388,000 followers. One snap showed her posing against the backdrop of the Devonport. Along with the caption, all ready for Armed Forces Day with our amazing Admiral Air Force at Air Cadets on what seems like the Plymouth Riviera. It's so beautiful today. A second saw Carol smiling alongside several young cadets, saying, an emotive morning with a memorial service at Air Cadets and our amazing veterans. It was truly an honor to lay a wreath on behalf of our young people. She also spoke out to praise the number of female cadets, saying, now, of course, Wishing Air Cadets, about a third of them are girls. It's fantastic. At the very top, our Commandant, Air Commodore Don McCafferty, is obviously a woman, our royal patron is the Duchess of Cambridge and I'm the ambassador for Air Cadets, so we three women are hopefully sending out a good message there.